Valenciennes coach Daniel Sanchez came into this game against Reims knowing that it could well be his last. The figures speak for themselves. Seven straight defeats for Valenciennes. They've managed just one goal in those seven games. They're bottom of Ligue 1 with the worst attack and the worst defence. Well, club president Jean-Raymond Legrand did give his manager a vote of confidence in the week. But again, that Valenciennes defence, which has conceded 14 goals already this Ligue 1 season, was looking shaky. Reims is at Prince Onyange. Could have done better there. And he did do better just three minutes later, heading in from Floyd Aite's corner on the half-hour mark. Reims taking advantage of some really lacklustre Valenciennes defending there. Onyange, who joined from Ligue 2 side tour over the summer all alone and able to put the visitors in front. But the men in red did look to hit back. A half chance here from Jean-Christophe Bayerbeck. The under-20 world champion. Wasn't a great performance from him. But testing at Cossia Gasser on that occasion. And so a few whistles understandably ringing out around the Stade du Inu. And Rans taking a 1-0 lead in at the break. This was a case of pride for jean Raymond Legrand's men. And they did come forward with better intentions in the second half. A chance here for Mathieu Dossovi picking up the ball on the edge of the area. Having a go. Not an easy one. Not easy to get round the ball there. Kossier Gasser tipping it over. In came the corner. And another attempt from Dossovi from the edge of the area. Forcing another fine save from the round shot stopper. Was unfortunate for Valenciennes that the Togolese international keeper was having a superb evening here. Anthony Letalic, the next to try his luck, just after coming off the bench. And then a crashing drive from Tongo Dumbia. But again, beautifully handled by Agassa. Strong hands there. So into the final few minutes of the game. And Valenciennes' tenacity eventually paid off. Dossovi crossing in. And there was Eloge Enza Yamisi to finally score the equaliser. It had been pretty much all Valenciennes in the second half. Dossovi clearly on side, as we can see here, putting it on a plate for Yamisi. And bringing an end to that terrible run of seven games without a point. Unfortunately, they didn't have time to go on and look for a winner. So it finished 1-1 at the Stade du but a point is better than no points and Daniel Sanchez may well keep his job for another week.